it movie anyway. web, movie which web. is the perfect outlet for something like Spider-Man. Exactly. We are Spider-Man fans. Spider-Man movie web. <laughs> All right, so, you know, Peter and Gwen are seriously emotional in this film. Yeah, I, mean, I was quite rude. surprised the heights of emotionalness. So talk about filming some of those scenes and just like getting into that character. Um, yeah, they go through a lot in this movie, uh, Peter and Gwen. And they're, uh, yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty emotional journey. It, it just depended, I guess, on the day, how emotional it was. But, I mean, it was fun the whole <laughs> way through, even when it was super depressing. Well, let me ask you this, because you're involved in some of these great action scenes, and they are very emotionally heightened. Yeah. I mean, what's it like to film something so technical than be like, now we've got to cry? Um, it actually, I think, separated out a little bit for me. I didn't really have to do those. Th but my action sequences were pretty straightforward, so um, I don't know. I never really felt that way. But that's also part of the weirdness of being an actor, is you're like, laughing hysterically in one scene and then you're crying by the end of the day over and over again. Um, willingly putting yourself in strange emotional places, which is probably weird to do long term, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so let's flip that question over. I mean, okay. do you wish that you were like, you know, like Spider-Man or like you're the Goblin where you're like, you know what, where the fuck's my power? Why am I not shooting a gun or something? I mean, I, well, I think Gwen's, Gwen's power is her intelligence and her heart and I think she also is driven by some pretty heroic impulses like she's going to school for medicine to save people in her own way so I think she's using what superpower she has which is her brain to help as much as possible so I didn't really like want weapons or too much more physical power also I just like am not very coordinated so it would be silly Right, so, you know, some of the scenes in this film are absolutely incredible, like, really, wow, an amazing, an amazing film. Yeah. So now that you've seen the finished product, like, what's the thing that, like, really blew you away when you finally saw it? The visual effects, the, the um, like, swinging on his back and the way the suit ripples and what they did with all of that. I didn't know it was going to be that unbelievable. I'd read the script, so I knew what was happening in the story, but watching it in 3D and kind of feeling like you are swinging through the city blew me away. All right, my last question is, Spider-Man's film is so big globally. Yeah. I mean, is there any time that it becomes like too overwhelming? Are you always pumped up and excited to see the fans and so on? I'm always excited to see everybody, but I think when, when you haven't slept much and you're on a bunch of different time zones, I can get a little bit overwhelmed. Like when there's big crowds for a long time and people are screaming. It gets sometimes a little bit overwhelming. But I mean, they love Spider Man. What can you do? You gotta scream. If you love Spider Man, you gotta scream at the top of your lungs. Spider Man! Yeah, that's a requirement. <laughs>